Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. Please, if you're yet to become a part of this family, kindly consider to become a part of us by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you're going to be the first to know. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. I love you and i pray for you always god laid this word in my heart for someone and i thought to share with us this is for someone who has been waiting upon the lord for a while now you've been waiting upon the lord and like job you said i will wait upon the lord for my change to come you are waiting upon the lord for him to increase you for him to turn your life around you have been waiting god says i should tell you this it is going to be worth the wait it is going to be worth the wait because what this waiting process is doing to you you have no idea this waiting process that you've been going through has helped you to build capacity or is helping you to build capacity it is sharpening your spiritual perception so that whenever god talks you are going to be sensitive enough to hear the voice of god this waiting has been sharpening your perception so that you do not go wrong when god is giving you an information there are a lot of things for people who wait on God. It doesn't matter who is going ahead. When you decide to wait on God, you come out of that waiting place stronger and better and you have the strength to run even faster than those who have gone ahead of you. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Let's start reading from verse 29. It says, He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, but the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not weary. They shall walk and not faint. That is what waiting upon the Lord will do for you. When you wait upon the Lord, you know when to walk, you know when to run, and you know when to fly. You know when to mount up on wings like an eagle and fly fly when you wait upon the lord he teaches you when to run god teaches you the time to walk god tells you when to stay and wait upon him for an instruction he teaches you when to launch out in faith and go after the things he has promised you he teaches you total and absolute dependence on him the bible says even the youth will fail even the youth will grow weary and even the the young men will fall but you has been waiting upon the lord there is no restriction there is nothing you cannot do there is no limitation to what you can do you shall know when to run you shall know when to wait you shall know when to fly you shall know when to work waiting on god helps you build capacity it helps you build dependence on god you become someone who trusts the lord so much and you become like mount zion that cannot be moved it doesn't matter what is happening around you you are not moved because you know in whom you have believed because waiting upon the lord has made you to build capacity has made you to build resistance has made you to sharpen your perception you are not ignorant of what is happening around at every point in time you know what exactly to do the greatest problem of humanity is the problem of direction when you wait upon the lord he makes his ways clear to you you know what exactly to do at every point in time that is why god said i should tell you it shall be worth the wait when you will leave this place of waiting you shall run and overtake those who have even gone ahead of you those who had gone miles and miles away from you you shall run and overtake them because your strength has been renewed your strength has been renewed you shall not grow weary you shall not faint you shall mount up on wings like eagles and soar you shall soar so high even above storms when the storms come you're going to spread your wings and use it as an advantage to soar even higher that is your advantage for waiting upon the lord if you are still in that place it place of waiting right now do not feel bad do not feel sorry for yourself because when god says it is over when god says your time of waiting is over you are going to be a high flyer in the name of jesus you are going to be a high flyer you are going to run and you are going to overtake what 
took people 10 years to accomplish is going to take you one year to accomplish. What took people decades to accomplish, you are going to accomplish them in five years because you have learned, because God has renewed your strength and you have been empowered to conquer. Hallelujah. This is a word for you who is still in your time of waiting. It will be worth the wait. Do not feel bad. Do not feel sorry for yourself. You should count yourself fortunate. You should count yourself worthy that God has kept you in a time of waiting where he is building your faith, where he is building total dependence on him and where he is building capacity. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this awesome prophetic word. Thank you for the life of your child. Thank you for this moment of waiting in their life. Father, we pray that even as they graduate from this place, they shall obtain all the promises that you have promised them in the name of Jesus. Even as you renew their strength, they shall run and they shall overtake. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you and may May he give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.